about six, six and a half years ago, we moved into the house we're in right now. And I came upon all my day timers. That's those things we used to use instead of calendars way back when. Oh, that was that book thing. Yeah, yeah with those yeah. book things, you know. Yeah. Yeah. And um, I would write my mileage every day. So I think I was bored one Saturday and I was watching a golf tournament or something. And I totaled all my miles. Mm-hmm. I had over a million miles I'd Holy been driving. Holy smokes, a million miles wow. traveling. And so, wow. to, and that's incredible. Long story short, and why I'm bringing this back to the Uber, yeah. is that, see, driving to me is like walking for somebody else. Right. I don't even think about it because that's been my home behind the steering wheel. But I have met every size, shape, color, description, nationality of people while I've been driving. I have had so much fun. Oh, I can imagine it would and be fun. The, and, this is, and this is really true. I've had, you know, I've had a few drunks in there and stuff like that. But it was right after I started Ubering. One night I picked up a couple at a saloon mm-hmm. at the end of McCord Air Force Base. There's a bar right there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there is. Yeah, and I can't remember the name of it. But um, uh, the husband helps the wife out of the car. And I said, oh, this is going to be good. <laughs> and uh, we, so I get them in the back seat. And I mean, all of a sudden, my car smells like the local brewery. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and I'm going, i got to get these guys home quick. <laughs> Turn on and, the heater. And so I punch in their destination or, or where it's supposed to come up on your GPS on your phone. And for whatever reason, locale that night, the GPS didn't want to work. And I said, <laughs> of course not. I said, of course, okay, no problem. I'm a old salesman. I can find anything. What's your address? And by then, the guy was sitting almost in the, you know, in the middle of the seat. His wife was laid, was flopped down in his lap. <laughs> and Uh-oh. and out of nowhere, I said, well, look. Uh, For some reason, my GPS is not working. What's your address? And all of a sudden, the woman rises up out of the seat and says, none of your business. (laughs) Oh, good show. And and I knew right there it was going to be a long trip. Fortunately, after I pulled away, the GPS came back on and I was able to find him. And once we got to the house, I helped the husband get the wife in the house. <laughs> and, of course you did. <laughs> and so I don't drive late night Uber now anymore. No, it's uh, but I've I've had a ball. It's it's I know this sounds like an advertisement, but it for me with my two other jobs with Colonial Life and King Vinyl Fencing, where they're ten ninety nine jobs. Mm-hmm. So and they're being their straight commission. So you have highs and you have lows, and I'm not good at budgeting when you get a big check, budgeting right. it over the next month or when your next one's gonna come. So with Uber, what it's done is it's balanced out my monthly bills where I have got everything even and paid for before the end of the month. Holy smokes. What a shocker, you know? Yeah. Oh, and so consequently, it's kept, the, again, the pressure off that we've talked sure. about. And uh, I can turn it on, turn it off when I want. Eh, I think I'll go and turn it on and see if there's anything going on. And I'll pick up somebody and have wonderful conversations, with grandmother with her, her grandchild, take them to a museum. And, yeah, it uh, sounds like a fun job. It is. It's a ball. I love it. And like I said, you can tell I hate it because I'm so introverted. You know. Yes. Yeah, well, that would be the problem. Well, now, that's just a, a perfect. Picture we were going to have. Are. We were going to have uh, Candace go ahead and uh, at the end of the show here because she always has the last word. I don't want to upset America. <laughs> I want to make sure that Candace has the last word. But uh, really. He does because he always closes us out. So who really gets the last word? <laughs> See, he th- doesn't think that I'm on to him. I'm totally on to him. You're totally on to him. I, I am. Candace, go ahead with the last word for our show today. Well, you know, my, you're, this is exactly why we wanted you on the show because of your love for our community, the love that um, just for humanity. I mean, it's a beautiful expression. And we're fortunate to have people like you in our community. So, Juan, I just want to thank you for that because um, you're hard to find. People like you really don't grow on trees. No. And it's a lost art, the love of humanity to the degree that you have. 
So there used to be, if we went back in the 40s and 50s, our, we knew our neighbors. We knew who they were. We we were involved in their lives, all, everybody's lives, to a degree. That's right. And we are not anymore. And so um, we were, we're just excited to be able to have you uh, here on the show. So thank you. Well, it's been great. We're running out of time. I gave Candace the last word. And... I do have to mention that she does have workshops coming up. Do you not? I do. I have, uh, we're doing value creation and that will be at Tower Lanes on Thursday, the November 2nd. Oh, she's going. (laughs) She doesn't know what day she'll be there. Bill likes to do this because I don't have my calendar in front of me because we're in the studio. How do they get a hold of you, Candice? 253-961-7525. Again, that's 253-961-7525. Or you can contact me at Candace, C-A-N-D-A-C-E, at wildchild, W-L-D, C-H-I-L-D, G-R-P dot com. Well, that's great. We're going to wrap up the show today. We want to thank everybody. If you have any comments for the show or you'd like to visit with us, we can... Just find a chair for you because we're going to get rid of Candace and we'll have an empty seat here shortly. Yeah, he so, keeps wishing. It's wishful he, thinking. For wishful thinking. So you get a hold of us at your disruptor, T O R, at gmail.com. That's your disruptor with a T O R at gmail.com. Until we talk to you again, we'd like to have you keep us smiling.